Welcome back to the channel guys. So the video you're about to watch here actually took place about a year ago and the reason we have not posted it is because we're with a group called Buck Ventures. Okay. If you don't know what Buck Ventures is, it's a hunting TV show. They branched off and made a group called The Woodsman and we're part of The Woodsman and we signed a contract that says we cannot post anything that we film that we send to them. So like we cannot like this, the, the video you're about to watch, like I said, was filmed last year, but we cannot post it until they post it. So because we signed the contract with, with Buck Ventures, we cannot post this video until now because they just released their version of it. So now we can post it, and now you guys can watch it on our channel. If you want to see a professionally edited version of this video, you need to go check out the Woodsman's YouTube channel. They got lots of big deer hitting the ground, and just it's a lot of good stuff. You need to go check it out. You also need to go check out the Buck Ventures YouTube channel. And go subscribe to them there will be a link in the description down below for both those channels so the video you're about to watch took place last year we're just now posting it enjoy no it is opening day of rifle season in tennessee and i'm sitting here in it, it's kind of a shooting house i mean it's it's definitely seen its better days i mean look the door there is no door in this thing i'm just sitting here in the wide open the door's down there on the ground but I'm gonna try my best. I'm self-filming once again. I got this big field right here in front of me. Right here, big field. And there's this gas line that runs for miles. It goes for miles that way and miles that way. So I can see a pretty good little ways. Hopefully I can get some deer going through there. This thing's so tight, I have no room in here. But I don't know, I'm gonna try my best. But um old Ricochet and Dad are actually way down. They're in a little shooting house too. So maybe they'll get some action too. My granddad's hunting way back here in the back of the property. Maybe he'll shoot something, I don't know. But it's like twenty two degrees, it's cold.
and Pat Paul are all still hunting. So they're gonna keep hunting. And the deer died right here in the field, which is great. But dad said we need some meat, so if I see a doe, I'm gonna shoot it. And I got a doe walking right up to me right now. So stay tuned, I may be going on doe patrol. Yes, sir. These deer don't even care. No, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. Okay, guys, I'm getting down. I'm packed up. I have to go check these things out, but don't you look at this. This blind. Look at this. I mean, it's just a rotten mess. Got it done today, though. Praise the Lord. Worked out. Couldn't have gone any better. All right, so I just walked up on this doe I shot right here. Look at that. That's the that's the exit. <laughs> I don't know where it went in. Went in somewhere in there, but here comes the rest of the crew. I'm gonna wait till they get over here before I go check out this buck. Dude, it is wide. It's real wide. All right. Nice. nice and shorter. Yeah. Nice and buddy. Yeah, he's nice and wide. Yeah. I'm happy with him. Came out just following a doe out in the field. Came out there about 40 yards. Couldn't ask for a better shot. Uh -uh. Came out there, smoked him. He ran probably like 100 yards. Got there, put a good shot on oh, him. Yeah, right Six, five, shoulder. three more. And uh, he couldn't tote it. Well, guys, I couldn't ask for a more perfect morning. I think I saw like 40 deer and I uh, got two on the ground here. We got meat in the freezer and a nice buck here. Be strong, be courageous, live for Jesus. We'll see you next time.